Thanks. Look at Brianna over there. She said the J word to her own boyfriend. No way. I saw it with my own two eyes. It never would have happened, Brittany, if you didn't kiss my boyfriend. Oh, honey, we were seeing each other for months behind your back. That's just the first time we got caught. Jinx. Two spins. I feel dizzy, okay? Okay? I'm an old lady, but we are going to put it to the test and see how many spins I can do until I fall over. Do you want my ice cream? So that's one. Oh, I'm already dizzy. Two. Oh. <laughs> Let's try. Let's try again. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Would you rather kiss Brianna or kiss a frog? <gasps> Timmy, you just got chosen to play. Would you rather choose carefully because whatever you choose, you have to do it or else you. Die! Okay, I would rather kiss Brianna. Brianna, come here. No, you, Timmy, you're stinky. Brianna, kiss me. No! I have to do it or else I... You should've did your you water. You should've did your you water. Have a good day at school, sweetie. Thanks, Grandma. Love you. Would you rather smell your grandma's socks or smell your grandma's dentures? I'll go with socks. Here go, sweetie. I've had these socks on for 12 months. Ugh! Hurry up and smell them. Okay. What happened? You fainted for 30 minutes. Oh, no, I'm so late for school. Babe, you made it. You were like an hour late. I was getting worried about you. I thought you weren't going to come today. Daddy, dad. Oh, dear, dry, man. Miss Applewood, it's time to take your heart medicine. Susan, you came back for me. I had no choice, Miss Applewood. Nurse Jennifer quit because you hit her with a tray. Good times. That wasn't very nice. Now take your heart medicine. No, 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 no. I don't take my heart medicine, and you know that. If you don't take it, you could have a heart attack. I don't have heart attacks. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> Miss Applewood. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not something you should joke about, Miss Applewood. <gasps> not again. Susan! Susan! I'm not falling for it. Boys at school never look at me. Taylor's the one they look at. I guess you could say I'm just kind of... there. Hey, Timmy! What am I doing? Bombastic side eye! Jinx, you owe me a soda! <laughs> Poor Timmy. He wasn't fast enough. What happened? When you say something at the same time as someone else, the first person to say Jinx survives. If neither of you say it, you both live. But to be safe... I would say it. Good, Good morning. morning. Mom. I'm not going to say it. I know that neither of us would ever say that word to each other. Yeah, you're one of the only people I can trust that would never say that word to me. I love you, Mom. Have a good day. Morning, girl. Sophie, look at my new ring. Who got it for you? Jake. Jake. Uh, I'm not... Jinx! Why would you do that? I wasn't going to say the word. I just... I wasn't sure. Class, what's the answer to number three? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, sure. Behind the scene, seeing what I would look like as an Evel doll is scree. Time to practice. Miroir, dis-moi qui est le plus beau, qui t'a devenu au mégalo. Bien donc ça, tu es... Oh no, I really gotta get out of here. Hey. Hey, wait! Stop running from me! You're my soulmate! I'm really out of shape. Brianna, is everything okay? My soulmate just ran away from me. Maybe I've seen him. What does he look like? He had on a black ski mask, so I couldn't see his face. And he was carrying a giant bag over his shoulder. Oh, and he was running away from me. He sounds like such a weirdo. Hey, baby. Hi, Jakey. I missed you so much. Jake, Brittany, why are you two holding hands? Because we're soulmates. When I was walking in the hallway, I noticed that Brittany dropped her book. I went to help her pick it up, and we accidentally touched hands, and magical sparks flew. Isn't it great? My ex and my best friends are soulmates. Great. It's not like we just broke up or anything. Brie, are you upset? No, no, it's really, it's great. It's great. Great. Class, has anyone seen a guy wearing a ski mask, carrying a bag over his shoulder? Yes, I saw him. That's my soul. Great, because the police are looking for him. I mean, what are these hearts on my face for, Mom? 
The hearts represent how many people must fall in love with you before you can meet your soulmate. When they fall in love, you lose a heart. What's the gold heart for? I represent your soulmate. You'll only lose the gold heart when your soulmate falls in love with you. <laughs> Hi, Jake. What do you want? I really like your left elbow. <laughs> what does that even mean? Get out of here. Oh no, what's wrong? I need five people to fall in love with me. Look at me. It's never going to happen. I'm a loser. You're not a loser. You're beautiful. You just need a makeover. Come with me. Who's that fine babe over there? Where? <laughs> He's talking about you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Don't snort. I I think I'm in love with you. Brianna, you lost a heart. You really do love me. Class, what's the answer to number three? Twenty-four. 24. Oh, jinx. Oh, why would you... <laughs> Brianna? Class, I think it would be best if we all just go take a break for a few minutes. What's wrong with you? Why would you use that word? I was only going to say it because he was going to say it first. Yeah, sure he was. You're the worst, Brianna. My boyfriend hasn't been answering his phone all day. Why are you looking extra handsome today, Jakey? Shh, not here. My girlfriend could be around. She's not here. I saw her. She went back to class. Good. Jake! Brianna, I, I can explain. Wait, it's, it's not, not what, what it looks, looks like. like. Jinx, that's what they all say. You men are so predictable. <laughs> oh, Jake, what have you done, Brianna? I didn't mean to do that. Was it a mistake? Brianna, if you agree, I'll take away one of your marks. Um. No, that's my last mistake. You still have three left. It was her mistake, not mine. Hey guys! You can't sit with us. Why not? The reason Sophie's dead. You let her die so you didn't get another mark. Why should I get a mark? I wasn't the one who made a mistake. Five marks and you're out. You're so selfish. Your shoelaces are untied. Hmm? Why would you do that? Sir, she made a mistake. She forgot to tie her shoelaces and then she tripped. What? No, you tripped me! You're now the school's target. That's what you get for killing Sophie. You're gonna be next. I found the other half of my necklace, but I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. We have to find out who it is. I need to make an announcement. No, you will not. Attention everyone, there has been a missing soulmate heart magnet found in the hallway. If anyone is missing their soulmate magnet, come to the office immediately. Give that back to me. You are in big trouble. I heard you guys found a soulmate magnet. I lost mine. Really? You must be my soulmate then. Yeah, I lost it back when I was six years old. Six? What? My soulmate would have lost his magnet in high school, not when he was six. No one else has came forward for a missing magnet. Maybe I'll never find my soulmate. I hear a soulmate magnet was found. I lost mine last time I was here visiting the school. <gasps> the prince is your soulmate! You're my soulmate? I just saw someone get killed. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it. You need to rhyme it. I just saw someone get killed. I wasn't very thrilled. Please, keep your mind at ease. What'd you get on the exam? Exam. Exam. Rhyme it. They time it. Hurry, you need to worry. Stop yelling at me. I can't think of what rhymes with exam. Good morning, honey. Today's nice and sunny. You're not speaking. What are you seeking? Are you scared? Your rhyming is impaired. You must speak. No one is allowed to sneak. You rhyme it. I'll time it. Why are you doing this to me? Tick-tock. The time is on the clock. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? rock a -bye, baby. Why is everyone singing? Attention all citizens. Singing has now become contagious. You must wear earplugs at all times to stop the spread. Mary had a little lamb. rock a -bye, baby on the treetops. Ashes, ashes. Everyone's singing. Hey, take out your earplugs. What? It's just me. And you. It's just us? Yes. Okay. Ring around the rosies. 
Spring around the rosy. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh man! Ha! Rock, beat, scissors. Round two? Rock, paper, scissors! Rock wins? Ah! Rock, paper. No, 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 no! What? I'm not playing the third round. Come on, one of us will win a million dollars! Yeah, but one of us will die. That's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm not. Hello? The results came in. I have cancer. What? Treatment's going to be very expensive. And I'm too sick to work. We're going to lose our house soon. I don't know how we'll live. Mom, don't worry about a thing. I'll get us all the money we need. Derek, let's play rock, paper, scissors. If we tie the first two rounds, I'll play the third round with you. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors. I win. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Paper beats rock. Last round. Rock. rock. Paper. paper? I brought you coffee. Thank you. Hey, do you know if they chose the person who will get the CEO position yet? You're not going to get that position. And why not? You're a woman. It's a big job. Only a man can do it. Brianna? Yes, boss? I'd like to offer you the CEO position. Come to my office after work. Come in. You said you wanted to promote me to the COO position? That would be incredible. I do. I just need something from you first. Come here. <laughs> no! I really want to give you the position. Come here. Stop! Come on. You really thought I was giving you this promotion for your work ethic? Yes, and if you promoted me for any other reason, I don't want the job. Good morning, boss. You're not in uniform. Women don't owe you sh- I'm trying to send you a message. Mmm, I want the red flavor. It's the tastiest. No, you could have had a million dollars. Oh, no. What did I pick? You can see how people die. Ah, I don't want to see that. Mmm, this is the best sandwich I've ever had. I'd stop eating that if I were you. You're going to choke. No, I won't. <coughs> Are you going to Kevin's party tonight? No, I was just going to stay home tonight. Come on, you have to go. It's going to be the banger of the year. You shouldn't go to Kevin's party. Kevin's party tonight. Are you coming through? I'm not. Come on, don't be lame. Aw, are you worried you're going to be left out? Don't worry. You can hang out with me and my friends, okay? I gotta stop this party. Talk bye baby in the treetop. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, stop, stop! Star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a kid. Timmy, wake up! I can't be a killer! Timmy has been eliminated. You've got money. Ba ba black sheep Twinkle twinkle little star Everyone's lost their minds Babe, come with me Thanks for getting me out of there, babe It's not safe here I need to go home You should too I love you I love you too, babe That's why I'm sorry for what I'm about to do What? Ba ba black sheep Have you any La 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 lunch? What the f- Hurry, answer it! I don't know this song, Emily. It's from the movie we watched together. You know the cartoon with the orange fluffy guy? How Bad Can I Be by Ed Helms. I got it! Yay! Come on, Sissy, let's go to school. How, How bad, bad I, 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 can, can I be? Hey, Brianna, you look so beautiful today. Aw, thank you, Jason. You're so sweet. You're like a brother to me. Oh, no. I just got to name that song. The lyrics are... Where I see love, she sees a friend? Jason, I'll give you a hint. It's from the Barbie movie. Song name, I'm just Ken. I'm just Ken. Where I see love, she sees a friend. What will it take for her? Wow, you're really into that song, Jason. I'm just Ken sung by Michael Sarah. No, Jason, it was by Ryan Gosling. Brianna, they need you at your sister's school. Something happened to Emily. Could I buy one bottle of air, please? That'll be $500. $500? Are you serious? It went up again? Yeah. Air's in high demand right now. It's just business. <coughs> okay. Here. Here's your air. Oh no, honey, we're almost out of air. Can you go buy us a 12-pack case of bottled air? 
A case of air? That's really expensive now. Are you sure we can afford it? We'll have to try. Here, take my credit card. Okay. Hi, can I just get a 12-pack of bottled air, please? That'll be $5,000. $5,000? It went up again? Air's hard to get nowadays. Okay. It's declined. Please just give me some bottles. My family has no air left. We're on a business. If you can't afford it, get lost. What's that over there? Over where? Hey, get back here! Well, I had fun. I guess I should get going then. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Sure. Awesome. Wait, before you leave, do you remember our deal? Right. We're just having fun. No strings attached? Exactly. Thanks for lending me your shirt. Hey, sorry, I hate to do this, but I have tons of stuff I gotta do. Oh, yeah, totally. I'll leash. Great. I had lots of fun, though. Me too. Hey, no strings attached? No strings attached. I'm glad you could make it to the party. Have a drink. Thank you so much. This party's kind of lame. I was thinking you and I should get out of here. <laughs> sure, this party is kind of lame. Are you okay? Why did you leave all of a sudden? The guy I've been seeing went home with someone else. And the worst part is, I can't even get mad. Because he's not mine. There were no strings attached. But I... Everyone reveal your years. We must find the princess. They already are. Brianna's the only one who keeps her years on private. Reveal it now. <gasps> 3,000 years. Come with us. I'll be right back. Your driver should be here shortly. What are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me people were coming to the school today? I, I didn't know. Let's go. We're going home. But mom, I'm the princess. Come on. You are never going to leave your room ever again. Mom, no, don't leave me here. Mom. Hello there. Princess? Are you a prince? I believe this is yours. A crown. It looks stunning on you. Here, take my hand. Let's get out of here. Anna, your crush is coming. Act natural. Kevin. Sup? Hey, I'm throwing a party later. Wanna come through? Are you kidding me? I'm short one gem? <laughs> oh, why would you do that? Sorry, Kevin. Let's skip class and go to McDonald's. How can I be short half a gem? I can't. I have to go to class. Hey, do you want more gems? Yeah, of course I do. Then drink this. Oh, what is this and why is it yellow? Just drink it. That was disgusting. What was in that drink? Look at your gems. Two billion gems? Get my new wallet. Oh, let me see. Ew, it's worthless. Hey, I just bought that. My daddy's a millionaire. I can't touch anything cheap. Oh, break out in hives. Spare change, spare change, please. Ew, don't touch me with this cup. It's probably covered in garbage and dirt. Actually, on second thought, I'm taking this. No, it's all I have. Why are you holding a cup that says money, please? I don't know. I took it from some random homeless man. It says it's worth a lot of money. Brianna, the meter doesn't show how much the object is worth. It shows how much the person who owns the object is worth. Oh. Pause. Help! Help! I'm paused. I can't move. You seem fine. You're still talking. Yeah, but my body can't move. Whoa. Why did controls just appear above your head? Oh, you can see them? Okay, press play for me. And why should I? Please? I don't know if a please is good enough. Pretty please? All right, play. <sighs> Brianna, hurry, you're going to miss the bus. Oh, don't worry, I'll just run home. Run home? Your house is a two-hour walk from here. It's okay, I'll just fast forward myself. <laughs> Hi, Mom, I'm home. That was quick, school just ended. I know, I ran really fast. Good morning, Mom. I'm off to school. What the? Anna, let's play dolls. I can't, Sophie. I'm too tired. They only let us sleep one hour within 24 hours. I know. I'm so tired, too. I could fall asleep right now. Oh. Sophie, no. Sophie. Sophie, you can't fall asleep. <laughs> Sophie, no. Go to sleep. Wake up. Wake up. Five more minutes. I'm awake, I'm awake.
Hey, Timmy, do you think they'll let us sleep eight hours anytime soon? I don't know. They haven't let us sleep all week. Class, you may have noticed they've been cutting back sleeping hours significantly. That is because they're trying to eliminate as many people as possible. Only those that can stay awake will survive. No! This isn't fair! They can't do this, right, Timmy? Oh, Timmy? I'm gonna fall asleep. Timmy! Brianna, did you finish the assignment? No, I didn't. I'm disappointed. That's really unlike you. Smile! What's the picture for? I just... I think it's important to capture every single moment. We should do something crazy like go skydiving. You're terrified of heights. I know, but you only live once, right? Ooh, pretty. Sophia, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I was trying on your clothes again. It's okay, take whatever you like. Here, you can have some of my makeup too. You're acting weird. Your teacher just called, you haven't finished any of your assignments? I love you, mom. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I am, here. It's a box of all our memories. Why are you giving me this? Because I love you and I'm gonna miss you. Miss me? Happy 17th birthday! Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. Hurry, blow out the candle. I want to see what your future career path will be. You're going to be a what? Hey, Brianna. Let me know once you start your career. I'd love a dance. Do you get discounts for classmates? Oh, shut up, Kevin. It figures that you're going down that career path. I always knew you never had any self-respect. I do have self-respect. And so do other people in that career path. Hey, Carly, are we still in for the movies after school? We can't be friends anymore. I'm sorry. What? I'm going to be a doctor when I'm older. I can't be seen with someone like you. Brianna, there's someone here to speak with you. Oh. Ooh, she's in trouble. You were given the wrong career by mistake. Your actual career is... How many lives did you get? 50. I can't wait to use them. Brianna, want to come try poison with me after school? I'd love to. Three, two, one. Brianna, want to come try drowning with us later? Yes, I've always wanted to try drowning. Aw, uh, I wish I could come, but I don't have enough lives. That's no problem. I'll send you some more lives. Wanna come drink bleach with me later? I'm so down. Hey, Emily, are you coming? I'll send you some more lives. Sure. You need to stop using your lives so fast. You'll run out. Whatever, Mom. Just let me have fun. Let's all go jump up buildings after school. Yes, I can't. I only have one life left. But I can come watch. I'm gonna jump. Let me give you a push. Ah! Your turn. <laughs> no! Beauty pill or intelligence pill? Well, I'm already super smart, so I might as well be beautiful, too. My beauty pill's only working at 60% so far. So you're saying I'm going to get even more beautiful than this? So basically, the Pythagorean theorem. Eugene! Eugene! Babe! Wait! Babe, that's you? You don't even look like yourself. Yeah, I chose the beauty pill over the intelligence pill. You made a bad decision. Intelligence is more important than beauty. Brianna, please solve equation A for the class. No, I, I can't. I don't know it. Is the more beautiful I become, the stupider I get? Brianna, can you tell me the answer to question 23? I don't get it. Um, no, I can't tell you because I don't know. Mommy, Brianna, please, give me a chance, please. Boys, boys, please. I only have eyes for one man. I want to break up with you. A hey, new girl. Me? Yes, you. Want to come on a date later? Really? You're inviting me? I am. Yes! Whoa, you look way different. You look hot. I wanted to look good for you. This movie's really good. It is. Come here. Derek, what are you doing? Where are you going? Come here. No! Why did you even come on the date if you didn't want to do anything? What? I heard what happened with Derek. I never knew you were like that. You're so easy. Derek, what are you telling everyone? You went on the date with me. You owed me to at least do something. Hey, Derek. Woman don't know you sh- Just trying to send a message. Only one more to go. Kissing a thousand people is a lot of work. I only had to kiss ten. What? I have to kiss Jason. So? He's my best friend. It'll make things weird. Jason, buddy, bud. <laughs> Why are you acting weird? 
you're the last person on my kiss list, and then I can meet my soulmate, so... No, Brianna, I can't kiss you. We're best friends. It'll make things weird. Are you serious right now? Jason, how about you kiss me on the cheek? That way, things won't be weird. I guess that's fine. It didn't work. It has to be on the lips. See ya. Wait! Jason, you're being a bad friend. A real friend would help me find my soulmate. I promise I won't tell anyone about this. Brianna, the real reason I don't want to kiss you is because I don't want you to find your soulmate. Why not? Because I'm in love with you. Blinks? What is this? Everyone's getting a number on how many times they're allowed to blink. What the f- How many blinks did you get? One! So, what happens if I blink? I don't know, you probably die. I don't want to die! Oh no, she has no blinks left! And look at her, even after she broke the rules, she's still blinking! I gotta go! No, what am I gonna do? Ha 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 ha! Looks like we have another blinker on our hands. God? Is that you? Do you know what happens to people who break the rules? No. <laughs> you got a skull emoji? Does that mean your soulmate is... No. No, there's no way. It can't be. It's not fair. Brianna, wait. Where are you going? I'm going home. I just got a call. Oh, no. And a police car? I wonder what the police car could mean. I just got another one. It's a man running. Hmm. A police car and a man running. And then I chose my soulmate. He looks like he's hiding or something. Oh, my. Brianna, I don't think your soulmate's dead. I think he's a murderer. What? Do princesses marrying is forbidden. Mother. That's enough. I'm going to start making the arrangements for you to marry Prince William. Brianna, are you okay? I am to marry Prince William tomorrow. I'm sorry. I know that he wasn't your first choice. No, he wasn't. That's true. You are. I now pronounce you, Prince William, and you, Princess Brianna, to be wedded. I object. Ella! This is absolutely preposterous. What kind of objection would you have to our marriage? I object because I want to marry her, and I know that she feels the same way. Ugh, that's absolutely rancid. Two princesses cannot marry. They won't accept them. I know. How about we elope? When are you coming back? Everyone's so worried about their powers. Mom, I'm not coming back. Goodbye. Hello, miss. Mr. President? Come back with me right away. You're an important asset to the city. I won't. Everyone in that city treated me so badly because they thought I was powerless. Well, I can assure you that this time it won't be the case. Brianna, you're back. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. Wow, your hair looks so nice today. What? Brianna, welcome. We're so grateful you're back. Yo, Brianna, I never told you this before, but I have a massive crush on you. Want a date? Girly, he's so cute. You guys should totally date. All of you guys are fake. You guys are only being nice to me because you want to keep your powers. Stop! What are you doing? I'm drawing an ice cream. No, you can never draw on yourself. Anything you draw on yourself will permanently be on your soulmate. Forever! Brianna, what are you doing? Relax, I'm just drawing a heart on my face so it'll be easier to find my soulmate. Okay, but I don't think your soulmate is going to be very happy with you putting a permanent heart on his face. He'll thank me later. You ready to go to class? Brianna, look at your face. <coughs> oh, he is not going to get away with this. Revenge isn't the answer. What did you do? A permanent mustache. Let's see how he likes that. I don't think my soulmate's very happy with me right now. Wait a minute. He wrote an address. You are such a loser. Why do you even exist? Yeah, get out of this school, loser. Is everything okay? You look upset. Yeah, it's just my soulmate's getting bullied. You failed your math test again? You are a disgrace to this family. Go to your room. I don't even want to see your face. Whoa, he is not having a good day today. Are you ready to go yet? Hey, I'm so sorry, but I've been cheating on you this whole relationship with your best friend, and I'm leaving you for him. Yikes, that one's gotta hurt. And then I was like... I have your coffee, ladies. Whoa, whoa. My new shoes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, 
I am too, idiot. That was a little harsh. What am I going to do? My shoes are ruined. You spilled coffee on a customer's shoe? That's it. I'm not giving you any more chances. You're fired. Oh, good morning. What is that? Don't push the red button. I'm going to push it. Hmm. Nothing happened. That red button thing was so weird. Wait, you got that too? Yeah, everyone did. It was all over the news and everything not to push it. You didn't know? No, I knew. Let's just say, theoretically, somebody did press that button. What would happen? Nobody knows for sure, but they say it's the worst thing you could ever possibly imagine. Good thing no one pressed it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Open your books to chapter five. You pushed the red button? How could you do that? No. No, I promise I didn't push it. It was a mistake. Oh, no. What have you done? I'm ready for school. What's this? I'm ready for school. What just happened? What about this one? When did I get here? Chill, we've been here an hour. An hour? I never even left my house. You're acting strange. And that is why the war started. Dude, did she just... Bro, oh, no way. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> you have zero manners. No. No, it was the chair. It was the chair. I promise you it was the chair. No way. That wasn't a chair. We all heard it. Get me out of here. And that is why... Miss, I need to use the bathroom. Hey. <gasps> Babe! I'm here to break up with you. Also, I've been cheating on me throughout the entire relationship. I'm really sorry, but I'm not actually... Oh, you are not getting away with this. We are almost done with the makeup, and of course I got mascara on my face. Finishing touches, I love this gloss from Too Faced. It's time to put on the outfit. She's sitting right there. I hope it works. So this is our completed look, and I'm wearing some little combat boots. I am so excited, and I look so cute! When I moved to LA, there were some clothes that did not make the cut from home. Now that I am home, I'm gonna try them on and rate them 1 to 10. 10 being I'd wear it again, and 1 means I'd never put it on my body. This is definitely someone's taste, but uh, not mine. I am going to give it a 6 out of 10 because it has two leg slits. Okay, sexy. I look like my mom dressed me for someone's funeral. I thought this was gonna be good, but it's not, so 5 out of 10. Next up is this top. Um, I honestly just can't figure out how you wear it. See, it looks all right, but I'm just really confused. So three out of 10. This one's giving me flashbacks. It is so core 2016 Fashion Nova. I wore this for an Instagram and I thought it was so cute. I would never ever wear this now, two out of 10. I still have more interesting things. So if you want me to do a part two, comment down below. Whenever I wear my like corset tops, there's always hella comments asking about where it's from and I'm not gonna gatekeep, I already own these, so I'm gonna tell you where I got them, okay? I think they're all from Victoria's Secret, but I just got this one. Then we have this one, which I also just got. I was wearing it yesterday if you wanna see it on. Again, this one's from Victoria's Secret. I actually got this on clearance for like $30. Then we have this one, which is basically the exact same top I have on, but in white, it is so cute, I love it. Here's this one. Oh, she's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have two other ones that are both from I'm Coco LA. This is the first one. This one also from I'm Coco LA. It's not boned, but like it's lace up. So corset question mark. That's all. <laughs> hmm. You're done. You're done. Hey guys, today I'm going to be testing my compatibility with the different signs on Futurio. Let's go. Okay, but before I start, look at how cool this app is. It literally gives you a daily horoscope prediction, daily affirmation, moon calendar, and you can add your family members. So I'm starting with a cancer because my ex was a cancer and I'm a Leo and we just did not get along. And you can tell that by the 30% rate and let me show you more. Yeah, I can see why we didn't get along with a 30 person in all the categories, but Futurio also gives you an explanation as to why it's 30% in every category. Next is me in a Capricorn, which is even worse than the first one, which no wonder this thing ended too. There's a big risk that someone will end up with a broken heart. Yeah, that definitely happened on my end. We're getting better here. I've never talked to an Aries, but if you're an Aries, hit me up because we seem kind of compatible. Mm. If you love astrology as much as I do, I seriously recommend this app. You can download it with a link in my bio and it is on the app store to search Futurio. It's amazing. 
Hi, people keep asking for a curled hair tutorial and I have yet to do so, so here you go. I use a T3 micro wand and the small sparrow that comes in like the three pack, it's heating. I have curtain bangs and I don't do them to the end, so I put them behind my ear. I section it into one half and then two halves. So I take the first piece and I go over the barrel to curl it away from my head and then let it sit. Trust the process. <laughs> then I take the next piece over and I go under the barrel so it's going a different way and I basically alternate all throughout my This is one side done, still leaving out this bang and I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this side. Now that both sides are done, I'm gonna take the bang pieces and curl them away from my face, not for very long. Other side. Now I'm gonna pick it up and try to shampoo it. <laughs> Keep going. Flip it and shake it out. <laughs> All done. Uh, dude, wait. We're gonna stick, stick. I don't know why I thought it wasn't gonna stick to anything, but like it literally just went like to my mirror. <laughs> wait, that's so fun. Where else can I put this? Wait. <laughs> I put it too high, but it stuck to the wall too. It literally won't stick to anything, and the back of it's not even sticky. Okay, news pad. Stick. Um, anyway, I washed it earlier thinking it wasn't gonna work because, like, sticky and water don't mix, and it still sticks to things, but it never, like, leaves anything in the back of my hands, like, when you touch slime or something, and it's like, ugh. like, this is so fun, and I stuck it to my mirror. I can put my phone on the wall. That's so helpful for POVs, dude. My phone's gonna be in like weird places and you guys are gonna be like, but like, I actually really like this case. That's so fun. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm sorry, like, I don't know why I'm so entertained by this. Um, you should definitely get a Pluto case. They're so fun. Dude, I can just peel it off too. It just comes off like. I just watched the trailer for Shotgun Wedding and I don't even know how to describe this movie. Action and romance are my favorite genres and this is everything together. You think it's gonna be just a nice destination wedding and then they're like, actually, psych! I don't wanna spoil it, but I'm gonna watch this on the 27th. So I was trying to find photos and videos of my mom to put her into an appreciation post, but the problem is my mom doesn't like being photographed. It's like trying to get a picture of a Kwame. She's just not there. But then I found this app. This is it, it's called Reface and Just Wait because it is so funny. One of the things you can do on this app is put your face onto other GIFs or videos. So this is me on someone random. But that's how all those people make those videos like me mixed with Margot Robbie on TikTok, you know? But then I saw they update their app and added anime image and I was like, what is that? You can make the photo talk and sing and you make them say whatever you want. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! That is my sister and her husband and she very well might kill me. <laughs> all you have to do is upload an image. And then choose what sound you want to put on their face. <laughs> this is going to be really fun to send to my family group chat. Download Reface. Uh. So while we wait to go to the gym with this very attractive man, I want you guys to help me pick out the outfits, okay? I'm going to give you a couple different options. Comment your favorite one and I'll wear the one that gets the most comments, okay? So option number one, she is all gray. Both pieces are very flattering. This make my butt look good. Okay, option two, these are the same shorts, just a different color. They're a little less flattering, but this top is really cute. Option three is this fully gray set from Aloe Yoga. It's really cute, doesn't do much for my butt though. <laughs> or option four, same shirt, but I put on these Alpha Lee biker shorts, which are really good and ruched. Hmm. Option number whatever is this. Sorry, I just realized my lights are on party mode. I just switched the top. Cute. Okay, last option is the same as the last one, but in different colors. Let me know what you think in the comments, please vote. So I just made an outfit wearing this as a joke, but that won't even post. So I know with no context, I look absolutely insane, but I promise it was for a good reason. But let's put on an actual outfit, okay? I took that shit out of my hair and took this mesh thing off. I haven't worn this blue top in a really long time. So let's put it on and see if she's a winner or not. Um, definitely a yes. I absolutely love the cut of this top. It's kind of lopsided, I don't know. Okay, hear me out. I know these are two different shades of blue, but it might be a moment. It's a no for me, but I do like the bodycon. My white bodycon is dirty, so we're settling for this one. <laughs> I think this circle pendant would look so cute. Let me put it on so you can see. Adding hoops, because I love them. Rings. <laughs> now we add the brownish sunglasses to hide the fact that my hair looks like shit, and we're done. Looking snazzy, feeling good, hot girl summer, whatever. <laughs> 
Um, let's put on an outfit to go shopping because I am in a depressive episode and obviously the solution is buying clothing. Right? Anyway. <laughs> okay, first I'm gonna put on these shorts from Zara. They're super cute. I just got them. Yay! Now that we're looking snazzy in these shorts, um, I'm gonna put on this white lace top from Hello Molly. It has makeup on it, but do I care? No. <laughs> okay, the final edition was this green polo-esque shirt from Princess Polly. I know these aren't the same color green. It's gonna piss some of you off. I also do not care. I like it. <laughs> Okay, final part to this is this hat that I got from Cotton On, specifically because Faye had it, the beautiful ginger girl, and I needed it too. <laughs> Fit check. <laughs> Honestly, I'm vibing with it. I just made this top literally out of the bottom of a t-shirt, and I need to show you how to do it. Amazing. I'm going to show you with this plain gray t-shirt because I never wear it. Get your t-shirt, lay it flat so the hem at the bottom is aligned. Now, we're gonna cut it straight across, like four inches below the armpit. It don't gotta be precise, just cut it. Just cut it. So now we're working with the bottom half of this t-shirt. Discard the other half, she's irrelevant. Cut just the bottom hem part off. Like where it's sewn, cut it off. Just the bottom. <laughs> so now you have like a string, right? Cut it, just cut it. It's in Now I'm gonna show you how to put it on. Take this part, wrap it around your back. Like, open the two sides of the fabric and stick the string one through both sides. With the Do it to both. Now it's like this. You're going to cross it. Tie it. I'm wearing both of them at once, but this is what it will look like. Ignore my laundry. Cute. Hey, so I'm kind of pissed off right now because TikTok put one of my POVs under review and they take me like 30 minutes to make. But anyway, um, here's my outfit for the day. These pants are from Colorful Natalie and this is from Urban. These are supposed to be like asymmetrical and just button on, but they're too big for me and I'm kind of fucking with the low rise jeans. I also felt like a headband today. Go brazy, I guess. Guys, I had every intention to make POVs today because I didn't yesterday, but I feel so fucking awful. I just can't. I have this horrifying sharp pain in my ribs and it won't go away. It's so bad when I cough and I think it's a strained muscle from coughing, but it's not getting better and it hurts so bad. I literally don't know what's wrong with me and like my both my ears have been hurting it started with this one and then it moved to this one and now they both hurt also the fact that some of y'all unfollowed me yesterday because i didn't post a pov and i literally captured my video that i'm sick um y'all are rude not that like losing 70 followers really killed me but like i don't know just to have some respect for like creators and how they feel you didn't have to unfollow me because i didn't post one pov I really want to make more content, but I, like, physically cannot right now, so I'm sorry. Guys, I'm actually about to pee my pants right now from the excitement. <gasps> Look! <laughs> I know some of you don't know what Fender means, but this is a very nice guitar, and I'm so excited. Thank you, Fender, for giving me this guitar. I'm, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> Please. Oh, that was aggressive. This is the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Okay, let's just play it. <laughs> skirt i'm just afraid that the browns are different colors but let me try it on maybe it's cute so i think they look good together but like i just ate a lot of pasta and uh the skirt is a little tighter than usual so i'm not quite sure about that one um i don't feel like changing so i'm just gonna leave this on i mean it's fun it'll she'll do yeah. hey i'm bailey um i make povs on here but today i want to talk about something a little more serious so I have a pretty big platform and I want to use it to spread awareness about issues that I am serious about. And this is why I am in support of the National Eating Disorder Association. 20 million women and 10 million men in the United States suffer an eating disorder at some point in their lives. Eating disorders not only affect you physically, but they also affect you mentally. 
There are a lot of misconceptions about eating disorders, and there are a lot of different kinds of eating disorders that aren't talked about as much. Eating disorders have the second highest mortality rate out of all the mental health disorders. Second to opioid use. There can be people struggling all around you, and you won't even know. Eating disorders can also be caused by a lot of different things. Sorry, getting a little emotional, because this is something that I have struggled with. I'm going to make more parts to this, but if you also want to be in support of the NEDA, the link is in my bio to donate, or just to spread awareness. Okay, here it is. Highly requested nose contour tutorial. <laughs> You're going to have to bear with me, because I'm not very good at explaining, but I'll try my best. So, I use the Hula Caramel Bronzer, it's the darker one, and I use a small, flat, dense brush. Important. So pack some bronzer onto the brush and then you're going to draw two really harsh lines skinnier than the top of your nose bridge. I will demonstrate. Um, it's going to look like this. I look crazy, I know, but trust the process. Now you're going to draw a line basically right at the bottom of this to make your nose look like a button nose. So now it's like a broken rectangle. You are going to make two lines like this and hang on. Okay, I look more crazy, but you're going to connect these two lines to the top to make a circle. Like this. Now that you do that, fill in the sides, like on your nostrils, to shadow it, I don't know. Now blend it out with the same brush, don't use a different brush. Now take bronzer and a fluffy brush and connect it here. Add fake freckles and highlight, and you're done. I am actually vegan, surprisingly. Let me tell y'all a little secret. If you're not vegan and you go vegan, like fully vegan, like committed, eating healthy, whatever, you will lose like up to 10 pounds in like two weeks because you cut so many food groups from your body and a lot of those food groups will actually make you gain weight. Um, you'll be very skinny. I do recommend you go vegan because a plant-based lifestyle not only will make you lose weight, it will make you feel amazing, but also make sure you're not malnourished. <laughs> I have that problem a lot. Since you're not eating so many food groups, you will lack iron and protein and a lot of other things and you need to make sure that you're eating enough of it. You have to have protein if you wanna lose weight. Who asked? No one. I'm not mad. I don't care that I'm built like a box. I'm literally built like a cabinet. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I still look damn good. And if you don't think so, that's your problem, not mine. So don't be commenting on my video. She's built like this. Thank you, Einstein. I never knew that. And second of all, in response, whoa, I'm blocking the screen. <clears throat> I would like to point out your reply uh who are you arguing with what is the argument here there's no analysis there's no uh rhetorical situation please enlighten us i don't get it this you <laughs> first of all that's not what the video is about at all and why would i be saying that i want to be roofied by a frat i wasn't and second of all, check your damn attitude because I'm cute. Ew. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, no. That was a food baby because I just eaten a whole wrap. But thank you for thinking that someone would like me enough to get me pregnant. That honestly is a compliment and I'm going to take it with positive vibes. Thanks. Here's a story time as to why my hair was brown. It was brown for one week total. Me and Carter got invited to the Billboard Music Awards because we made a video to Charlie Puth's light switch spinning in a circle. Now, my manager is an absolute girl boss and she was like, we're gonna get you guys on the carpet. I was absolutely panicking because my hair looked so disgusting, words cannot even describe. I had like three inches of brown root and then like musty, disgusting purple. I needed to find a solution and quickly, we found out we were going one day before it was starting. This was gonna be a really, really big carpet with huge celebrities that I was not one of. But just in case she did finesse, I dyed my hair black with semi-permanent like bottle dye. I think it was a hair conditioner. So funny story, we actually did not end up getting onto the carpet. It still was a once in a lifetime experience because this was the coolest thing ever. I saw MGK, I saw Megan Fox, so many big people who I was like, you're actually real right now. I also stood next to Doja Cat, had to get that out. That is why I dyed my hair brown. Just this one time, I am giving you guys full permission to absolutely gas on me in the comments. And let me show you why. Take it all in. Just give me your initial reaction. I don't care what it is. Just say it. I don't know what was going through my head when I bought this, but uh, it's here. 
Okay, you guys wanted my workout routine, so here it is. I do not know what I am doing. Um, these are squat side-to-sides for glute activation. I don't know what that's what you call them. Then we have, I like to call these, um, kick them in the head. You just, you know, you get really strong and you can boot them. It's good for your butt. And then I saw someone doing these on my For You page. Oh my god, my little tummy roll. I love her. Anyway, um, open and close your legs, because, you know. Um, and we're doing squat, RDL, straight leg things. I'm really bad at explaining. I am so sorry, but this is like 55 pound weight. It's painful. Then we have these motherfuckers. This makes me want to literally run myself over with a bus and then jump off a cliff. But they're good for your butt, I guess. Um, and then we're doing squats. This was my warm-up round. I had 10 pounds on each side. I know I'm holding the bar wrong. You don't got to tell me. I already know. And then I moved to the 25. No, I moved to 35. But then I failed 35, which is the video yesterday. But now I'm doing 25. Yep, she's contemplating. Come on. Come on, girl. Go. Oh, there she goes. All right. Next, I did uh, some hip thrusts. I'm only using a 25-pound plate this day because my quads were killing me, but I usually use 45 pounds. These are great for your butt. Then we did some leg press. I can casually do 225 pounds on leg press. I don't know where that came from, but uh, yeah, that's what I do. I always get comments about my nails and about my tattoos, so I'm going to knock them out both at once and just show them to you guys. So here are the nails if you needed some inspo. And then we have my rose tattoo because my middle name is Rose. So, we have this one. This is a snake. Her name is Pearl. I love her. It hurt really bad. I also have a belly button piercing, and if you are thinking about getting a belly button piercing, do it. This is your sign. Go get one. Mine didn't hurt at all. I got it like eight months ago. Never got infected. She is amazing. Just go to a good piercer. Mine literally didn't hurt. It was like, and it was done. Hey guys, um, this video is a little bit different. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you've probably noticed that I haven't been posting POVs. Um, and I want to explain to you why I have not been posting them. I have been making POVs every single day for over a year. And at first, for a very long time, I had an amazing time making them. I'd make new stories. I'd have such wonderful ideas that other people love to see. But recently, it has not been as fun for me to the point where it started to affect my mental health. I was waking up every day and forcing myself to make these videos that I didn't even want to make anymore. I wanted to do something else, but I felt obligated to make them because you guys all followed me for that. <laughs> I want to clarify that I will be making POVs, just not every single day. At first, I thought I just never wanted to make them again. Um, I will make them, but only when I have a good idea and only when I feel up to it. I can't force myself to do something that doesn't make me happy anymore. <laughs> I know that basically all of you followed me for the POVs, and I know that I will probably lose a lot of followers for this, but I hope that some of you will stick around because I will be posting other content that makes me happy, and I want to inspire other people to take an active change in their lives and make themselves happier too. I really do appreciate every single one of you for following me and supporting me and just being so kind to me because you guys literally saved my life. Hopefully enough of you like me for me that you will stick around to see what I post, but um, you know, feel free to unfollow if you did follow me for the POVs. There are plenty of other people that make wonderful POVs and are much more passionate about it. Just for my own well-being, I cannot force myself to make these videos anymore, but I will be posting some. <laughs> Again, I love you all literally so much, and I hope that most of you will stick around to see what I have to post. Thank you. I don't want another quirk, I just want to be normal. Well, that's not an option, so... Sorry, what did you say? You need to speak up. Hey Bailey, what's up? Did you lose your voice or something? I stayed up all night finishing my project. Are you ready to present? You have to, it's part of our grade. Bailey, would you like to present first? Sorry, what? Go ahead. Can you speak louder? Huh? If you can't speak up, I'm failing you. That's it, you're getting a zero. Whoever drives a pink Prius, you're getting towed. Speak up now and move it. Okay, that's it. We're going to tow it. Is there a rat in here? It's a thousand dollars to get your car back. Oh my god, please. I do not want to do this again. Could I drive your car today? I backed mine into a wall. Yes. Cool, thanks. 
I meant yes. I know, that's what you said. Yes! I love your enthusiasm. I'll try not to hit anything. Also, I took your Prada purse. Is that okay? Yes. You're the best. Hey, could you do my homework for me? Yes. Cool, now I'll have more time to play Minecraft. Are you okay? Yes. You don't look okay. Dude, I think my boyfriend's cheating on me. Do you think he is? Yes. I knew he was too friendly with his tutor. Will you help me throw eggs at his house? Yes. I'm not being crazy, right? Like, this is a totally normal reaction. Yes. But I think he still likes me. Am I delusional? Yes. You're not supposed to say that. Isn't everyone a little delusional? Yes. A million dollars or a makeup brush? Is this some kind of joke? Who would pick the makeup brush? Just go pick it. No, I didn't. What am I supposed to do with this? Maybe it's magical. Oh, any good, any? At least it looks pretty. Ugh, this is useless. I don't want it. Hey, Bailey, I bought you this candle. Why? And you used it. Because you're so beautiful, you deserve a gift. Okay, weirdo. Thank you. Um, what was that? I don't know. He's never spoken to me before today. Maybe it's your new haircut. I stalked your Twitter and I found out that you really like these drinks, so I got you one. That's a little creepy, but thank you, I think. Okay, am I on a prank show right now? Because if so, I need to put more lip gloss on. I hope we're on What Would You Do? I love that show. Can I do your homework for the rest of the year? Why would you do that? Because you deserve it. You can have anything that you want. Okay, did you do something different today? I don't think so. I woke up and then I used this random makeup brush that I got. What makeup brush? It was from that selection thing. Dude, it's magical. What? You have to give it to me. I want to use it too. But I threw it away. Yum travel. What does that mean? It says time travel. Oh, that makes more sense. You can go back to any date in your life and change the course of events. You should go back to when you failed that midterm. Well, I fail every test, so why does it matter? I know exactly when to travel to. I'm scared. What does that mean? Don't do anything stupid. What'd you say? Ugh. Sis, your boyfriend's here. Hey, what's the date today? April 20th, 2020. Hey, babe, what's up? Hi, sit down. I think that we should have a talk. What does that mean? I've been thinking about it, and I think that we should see other people. But why? You told me you loved me yesterday. Did I? I don't remember that. How long have you felt like this? I haven't had feelings for you for months. And you're just telling me now? Sorry. Fine, whatever. I'll just go. Whoa. That was fast. What did you do? I broke up with Jackson. You wasted time traveling on a breakup? Because he lied when he broke up with me, so I think it was my turn to lie. I hate you. Who's at the door? Um, Jackson? Why? Whatever you did must have altered the future, too. Uh oh. Oh, wait. Annie sounds kind of cute. I could go with that. So, what name did you get? Oh, it says Annie Rection. Bailey, are you serious? I think you need to read that one more time. What? What do you mean? Do you hear what you're saying? Annie Rection. Oh! Oh! Decline! Oh my god, I can't believe I almost accepted that. You need to figure out how to read, apparently. Whatever. Remember, you can only decline two times. I know, but the next one has to be better than that. Yeah, you better hope so. Ben. I mean, that's usually a boy's name, but I could go by Ben. What is it this time? Ben Dover. Girl, you have got to be kidding me, right? Not again. Oh, hey, Amanda. Yeah, that's not my name anymore. It's Taylor Swift now. That's the name you got? Yeah, isn't it awesome? What did you get? You don't want to know. Please be good. Pee pee time. I don't want to be called pee pee. Sis, please tell me there's another way to change my name. There is, but you're not going to like it. One billion dollars? If you don't take that, you're an idiot. I don't know what to do with that much money. I have seven dollars in my account right now. Dude, you could get literally whatever you want. I'm going to do it. Bailey, no, don't. Ugh, why? <laughs> Broke people should never laugh. I have some bad news again. Oh God, what is it this time? I burnt down a second house. How did you burn down a second house? I left my tacos in the microwave too long. So what did you get? Nothing, I have nothing. What, why? Because all of this is insane. I don't need that much money or 16 private jets. You could have had 10 houses like me. You shouldn't even have the houses. You keep burning them down. Maybe that's why they gave me so many. Whatever, I'm fine. Uh, what is it? Um, there's no double it button anymore. What do you mean there's no double it button? That's the whole point of this. It just says take it. Well, finally, you have to take something. Is it at least good? Yeah, it's pretty good. One hundred billion dollars? Bitch, what? I can see why you would be desperate. What's that supposed to mean? You've been mean since I started talking to you. If you had an aura, it would be red. Whatever, will you do it or not? If I say yes, will you change my name? Yes, I will. Wait, I have one condition. Fine, what? I want your piece of cake, too. That's it? Deal. Deal. 
So when's the wedding? In one hour. So you better change. I'm not changing. You can't wear that. Listen, buddy, I'm doing you a favor and I will not be putting on a dress. You're so stubborn. Hi, oh my gosh, you must be Zach's new girlfriend, right? Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm his mom, so what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a professional mime. Oh, I'd love to see. Oh, uh, oh wow, that was good. Thank you. Well, it was nice to meet you. What are you doing? What do you mean? I was trying to make a good first impression as your girlfriend. You're embarrassing me. Behave or I won't change your name. Fine, I'll behave. Oh, look, here comes the groom. What? What's wrong? That's my ex-boyfriend. Uh, she's my ex-girl. How could you invite your ex-girlfriend to our wedding? Well, I didn't. <clears throat> Why don't we go talk about this in a separate room, honey? Why are you dragging me? Congrats again. I'd say the mission was successful. Thanks, that made me feel a little bit better. Good, I'm glad to help. Look at you being all nice now. Whatever, don't get used to it. Your hair looks stupid. Hi guys, thank you all so much for coming. Does this mean that you'll change my name now? No, not yet. What? But that was our deal. I know, but I need just one more thing. You can't do that. Actually, I can, because I have the power to change your name. There's an after party, and my ex-girlfriend's gonna be there. So, what does that have to do with me? I need you to help me make her jealous. I don't know about that. I just helped you make yours jealous, unless you want to be named Toilet Paper forever. No, I don't want to be called Toilet Paper forever, so I guess you got me. Baby, what are you doing here? Baby, I thought you were broken up. We are. No, we're not. Is this a new girl? Hold my hoops, I'm gonna beat your <laughs> ass. I can't believe they actually broke up. I can't believe she didn't behead him. What? What? What's wrong? Earth to Bailey, hello. Is it a lot of money or something? So if you took a one, right? And then you added six zeros onto the end of it. A million dollars? What am I supposed to do with that? Dude, whatever you want, buy a Lambo. How does he have that much money? And why did he give it to me? You asked too many questions. Maybe that's why she wanted to be with him so bad. No kidding. Hey, you, I need your help. Me? Why me? You're in charge of the school newspaper, right? Yeah. I need you to print a story for me. I can't do that. Do it or I'll have the whole paper shut down. And what would you like me to print? That I'll pay a million dollars to whoever can find out who Jack's soulmate is. Dude, why would you agree to that? I don't know, she scares me, it's intimidation. I hate you! Why are we yelling? You gave your soulmate one million dollars, what is wrong with you? She better hope that I never find out who she is. I have sworn that I was walking into a Starbucks. Hi, welcome to heaven. Is that like a new coffee shop? No, you died and you're in heaven now. Okay, where are the cameras? I'm being pranked, right? It's not a prank. You dropped your phone going into Starbucks and then an elderly woman ran you over. That's a tragic way to die. Maybe you should get off your phone. This isn't heaven just yet. You have to have enough good points to go. Otherwise, you go to the bad place. I don't want to go there. Then you have to go back to Earth to make amends with those you've hurt. Okay, fine. I'll go back to Earth to right my wrongs. The first person you must see is Lacey. Oh my god, no, I hate her. You have to apologize. Fine. Hey, Lacey. Ah! But you just died. I've come back to make amends with you. I'm sorry, it was wrong of me to give you food poisoning so that I could have the lead in the school play. You did that? That's not why I hate you. What? You let my pet bird fly away. Oh yeah, I'm sorry for that too. No, you're not. You know what? I don't forgive you. What? You failed and have two more chances. Would you like to take them? Okay, yes, I'll take them. Good boy, Mom. Hey, hon, remember your father's coming over for dinner tonight. What? Dad came over for dinner last night. No, he didn't. And remember to take out the trash. It's Wednesday. No, it's Tuesday when the trash people come. You must have had a bad dream last night. You're right. I must have had a really weird dream or something. Hey, bestie. Why are you wearing the same outfit as yesterday? What? I'm not. I thrifted, thrifted this for, for $1, $1 at Goodwill. At Goodwill. Whoa, how did you know that? Because I've already lived through today. What are you talking about? This has got to be a glitch in the Matrix. I think you might be insane. No, I'm not crazy. You're acting a little crazy. Hey, what day is it? Tuesday, October 3rd. No, why is everyone saying that? I don't want to live through today again. I got broken up with. Hey, babe, mm -hmm. can we talk? Hi. I've been thinking for a while and we should break up. I'm sorry. Are you mad at me? No, I'm fine. I don't even care. Thanks. I'm glad you're being so cool about it. Damn, getting broken up with twice must suck. Wait, does that mean that- Yes, I'm living through the same day too. What is this? It's the potion the old lady was talking about before. But why is it brown and chunky? No balls. You won't drink it. What did you say? Wait, dude, I was kidding. How did it taste? Oh my god, that was foul. Wait, it worked? Maybe the old lady was real and you weren't hallucinating. <laughs> I get to pick for him now. That was so worth it. You almost threw up. Soulmate eats raw fish or ham.